when you look at the uh, NFL right now, in my opinion, there's only two players who deserve even conversations of being in the MVP. One is Cooper Cup because he's been phenomenal this season, having the most re- receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns as a wide receiver. And the other is Joe Burrow. And that's part of the reason why I think, you know, the NFL award needs to be after, you know, the Super Bowl. Because the two best players, in my opinion, the two clear uh, top people for the MVP conversation are going to be in the Super Bowl. And I honestly think if it was right now, if I, if I had an MVP, you know, say, which clearly I don't, um, I think Joe Burrow is the MVP. When you look at the Bengals, the last two seasons, we've had 25 losses. That does not even seem real. And the fact that we are in the Super Bowl now. In his first full season, he takes us to the Super Bowl and not only gives us our first, you know, playoff win over 30 years, he gives us our first Super Bowl appearance in the over 30 years. And in my opinion, I've I think you've said this too. I know other people have said this too. And the hardest division in the NFL, the ASC North. The ASC North has been one of the hardest divisions uh, in the NFL for years. You know, when you see these teams like the Browns and the Ravens, you know, they're they're good teams. The reason they're not in the playoffs is because they have to play one another. And these teams are so good and so talented. I mean, Joe Burrow has been the top five quarterback this season. He's led the Bengals to the Super Bowl. When Bengal fans did not even think we were going to be in the Super Bowl, especially, you know, when you look at – ESPN outlets who, when you look going back, looking at the um, ASC North, uh, you know, predictions, who's going to win the ASC North, I don't even think they talked about the Bengals. And when you look at Joe Burrow, he's done everything that nobody thought he was going to do. He said that underdog mentality, underdog mentality, oh, you don't believe we're going to be good. Well, we're going to be amazing instead of good. You don't think we're going to win a playoff game? We've won three and possibly a Super Bowl. This team won four games last season, and if we beat the Rams, we'll have four postseason wins this season. It is insane. The only other person, like I said, who should even be in the conversation is Cooper Cup. He's been phenomenal. But no wide receiver has ever won the MVP, and that's why I don't think it's going to be Cooper Cup. If Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, or anybody else wins the MVP over Joe Burrow, I'm going to be so ticked off. I know it's probably going to happen because, well, the NFL hates the Bengals. But in my opinion, Joe Burrow has to be the MVP. I I agree with you 100. percent And early on, you know, everyone was saying that Rodgers was going to win it. Brady's always a threat to win it. But when those teams exited the playoffs, it's like you know what? If I always had my theory about the MVP, if you're the best player on the best team, then you're the MVP of the league, and and that's what Joe Burrow is right now. And uh, yeah, they're not going to give it to Cup. I I agree with you there because just wide receivers never get it. I mean. I don't know if if Stafford has a monster Super Bowl. I mean, well, you know, if they were having it after the season, he could be a threat to get it. But I, I would love to see Burrow win it. Again, he's the best player on the best team. You know, heading into this season, I picked Matthew Stafford to win the MVP. And my Super Bowl prediction is so freaking embarrassing. I'm so glad I'm wrong, but I just feel so stupid looking back. I had the Rams and I had them winning it. And the team I had them playing was the Browns. You know, there was so much hype against uh, with the Browns this season, the Baker Mayfield, and they're going to be great. They're going to win the AFC North. I thought they were for sure going to win the AFC North. And, you know, they're not even in the playoffs, and the Bengals end up winning the division. Some people – I know somebody who had the Bengals having two wins this season. That is so stupid. And we've done absolutely everything nobody expected us to do. The Bengals – or what the Browns were supposed to be this season. And we have still exceeded expectations. And there were some people, I'm not being biased, heading into this year, in my opinion, Burrow was clearly the best quarterback in the AFC North even before this season even started. There were some people who thought Baker Mayfield was better than Joe Burrow. And there were some people who thought uh, Lamar Jackson is better than Joe Burrow. And there's still some people who think that Jackson is better than Burrow, which is crazy because when you look at Burrow this season, he's been a top five quarterback. He's been a top three quarterback. You can make a case he's been the best quarterback in the league this year. And everybody knows the MVP is a quarterback award. So why not give it to the best quarterback in the league? If Tom Brady is so valuable to the Buccaneers, why are the Buccaneers uh, not in the Super Bowl? And why is Tom Brady already retired? If Aaron Rodgers is the MVP, why did he not even throw a touchdown um, in the uh, postseason game? I mean, we're talking about Aaron Rodgers possibly being the uh, MVP when Travis Kelsey had more postseason touchdowns this year passing than Aaron Rodgers did. So it's it's crazy. I know I already said it, but I, I, I just don't get how people could say that Burrow isn't the MVP. It, it's crazy to me because he's done everything that nobody he's done everything that nobody thought we were going to do this year. 
You know, sometimes the NFL makes you earn it, too. They don't want to give it to a new guy, especially on, like, an underdog franchise like ours. So I'm thinking if Burrow set the blueprint now, you know, if he, if he goes out there and does similar things next year, he's going to be a very big front runner for the MVP. But, you know, let's – I'm, I want him to win the Super Bowl MVP because that means that we won the game and he, he had an outstanding game. And he is my favorite player. I, I root for him more than I've ever rooted for anybody. I mean, I root for all these guys hard, but there's just something about him. He just has the it factor. You know, he's confident, but still has this humility about him and, and remembers where he came from. Obviously, his Heisman speech. There's just so much about Joe Burrow to like, and he's a great leader and et cetera, et cetera. So, man, I'm just crossing my fingers. Let's Let's see Burrow be the Super Bowl MVP. And something going back to the MVP, I feel like at the same time, if Joe Burrow doesn't win the MVP, I feel like that's going to put a, another chip on his shoulder that he's already had so many times this season. Go back and look at the Pro Bowl. I was so ticked off Joe Burrow was not selected as a Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl quarterback, but Lamar Jackson was. Clearly, yeah. Joe Burrow took that seriously, and since then, I don't think we've lost the game when he started. Like, we have been the best team literally, you know, since then. So, I mean, that underdog mentality, like I mentioned with Burrow, and, you know, the chip on his shoulder and proving people wrong, uh, wrong. if he doesn't win the MVP, I feel like, you know, this Sunday, I mean, he has everything. He, I feel like he has potential to have another great game and prove people, well, I should have been a Pro Bowl quarterback. I wasn't. I'll go to the MVP. I, I, excuse me. I'll go to the Super Bowl, and then I'll be a Super Bowl MVP instead of winning the MVP. 